Hey students, I wanted to uh, knock this practice quiz out for you, so uh, here we go. Um, the first four on the practice quiz were about taking exponential form and writing it as a radical. Now remember, shortcut here, anything with half power is just the square root of that item. Done. Okay. Uh, here we've got two radicals. This one's to a third power and a fourth, sorry, third root and a fifth root, and then these ones uh, stay. So remember, if you're on the bottom, you get kicked out. If you're on top, you stay. So this one's actually going to be two radicals. Okay, P is the base, R is the base, 3 gets kicked out, 2 stays, 5 gets kicked out, 4 stays. There we go. Gross, right? I know. Totally, totally weird. This is just a frying pan. Okay, half times 4, half times 36. 36 to the half power is actually just 6, and then half of 4 is 2. Okay, um, so half of 4 is 2. I got to do it this way. All right, so basically... Um, what am I going to do here? I gotta, I'm done. I can't really rewrite that as a radical. Um, it's x squared, so that one's simplified. That one's nice. Because um, it's not a fraction. If this were a fraction, then I would simplify it. But since it's not a fraction, I just leave it alone. So there we go, x squared. Uh, 6x squared, excuse me. All right, 1 third. So sprinkle in the 1 third. 20, 125 to the 1 third is 5. And then x to the 1 third would be the third root of x, I believe. Okay. So if I rewrote it as x to the 1 third, the 3 would get kicked out. And then uh, the one would stay, but I really don't have to write the one right there. Okay, there we go. So those were going from exponential form to radical form.